What's up guys, you got Crave here, and we're going to be talking about a monitor I've had for about a week now, or a week or so, and it's the LG34 UM58. It's a 21 by 9 aspect ratio panel, or simply put, its native resolution is set to ultra wide. Now, luckily I got this thing while it was on sale recently. Um, I think it's a pretty big chunk, I, uh, about 20 or close to 20% off its usual retail price. So that's why I went out to get it immediately. Now it says 34 on the product name, but it's not the 1440 version some of you might be thinking. It's referring to the diagonal physical uh, measurement, which is, as you know, the standard way of measuring uh, panel or monitor size. Now. Let me get the only negative thing out of the way by showing you the product page from LG. It mentions in the specifications that it is a 75 hertz panel. Now that, well, that number, that 75 hertz, it really wasn't the selling point for me, as a 15 refresh rate difference wouldn't have been a deciding factor. But when I tested it uh, right here. Um, there was really no native way to set it to 75 hertz so swapping out the port or installing uh, different drivers or looking for the most updated driver it really didn't matter it simply didn't show up in the uh, in, in windows um well the natural way of toggling it in windows um you can of course overclock it by using your graphics card uh driver but uh, i don't like the idea of that it somehow does not have a natural feel as opposed to uh, what is naturally a high refresh rate. Now in terms of size, it's pretty big for a 1080 panel. Of course, it's ultra wide, but let me show you what I mean by uh, comparing it to my other monitors, which are uh, Dell's 2713HM and LG's own 24GM77. Now the former is a 27-inch uh, QHD panel, while the other one is a 24-inch high refresh rate monitor. Now, by the way, if you want to check that out, uh, that uh, 24 GM77, the high refresh rate one, um, click that little video you're seeing right now on the upper right part of your screen or check the description box below. Now, as I mentioned, it's really big as you can see, but we have to get it straight that even though it's pretty big uh, physically, um, it is still a 1080 panel, which means while you get more real estate because of, its be of it being ultra wide from left to right, uh, yeah, you'd see more left to right, uh, the Dell panel would offer more things to see from top to bottom since it is a 2560 by 1440 monitor. For the panel specifics or the physical part of it, um, it's nicely done. Uh, the bezel gives you the impression that it is borderless but uh, you have to be aware that it still has this inner frame which is about less than an inch thick and uh, the panel itself is well made with ventilation at the bottom. Now, it's strange to see ventilation at the bottom instead of the sides or at the near top of the rear. Um, I know it, it hap there are other LCDs that also have their ventilations or the vents at the bottom, but um, it's, it's very rare for me to see that. Now, also at the bottom part of the panel itself, uh, at the middle part, you'll find a very useful feature which I like very much about my 24-inch um, um, LG panel, which is the joy button and the, basically, yeah, that joy button to control the monitor. Um, it, it feels, you know, using that compared to other monitors I have or have, have had in the past, it feels very intuitive when changing panel settings. Now, the back side of the panel is a glossy finish, which is good in case that part is visible or not against a wall. Now, you'll find spots where you can screw it in place um, to mount it, so it is vase mountable. Um, you'll also get to see, uh, well, the very minimal available ports for uh, display, which are two HDMI ports, um, a headphone jack, and of course, your power cables connection. Now, the monitor does come with, um, out of the box, uh, at least in the box that I, that I showed you earlier, uh, it comes with the standard HDMI cable, a power cable, uh, and well, of course, in addition to the manual a driver CD and two screws for the stand. Now, 
about uh, the, the stand, it has that um, plasticky feel to it, which isn't really a bad thing. Um, yeah, I would, I was hoping for something a bit more rigid, uh, the feel, uh, that had a more rigid feel to it, but the, the plastic is is good. Uh, after all, it's still, um, after testing it for a while, it still holds the monitor in place pretty well. Now, it would have been a completely uh, tool-less experience um, out of the box were it not for the screws you had to put in place to secure the connection between the stand and the panel. Um, the stand and panel combo uh, by itself also offers some um, limited uh, tilting as you can see. You can uh, tilt it forward and backwards um, but in terms of movement of the panel that's pretty much it. Um, I, I was hoping it could um, go left to right. I could swing it left to right just like uh, my Dell panel uh, but yeah uh, it is what you get and uh, it is limited to forward and backward. And I just want to share with you guys some of the screen well uh, some picture shots of uh, what it looks like on my gaming area so yeah I'm still trying to figure out how to best position it but uh, anyhow before I show you guys some gameplay footage I also wanted to show you uh, left to right or at least a left to right uh, difference on real estate between a 21 by 9 and a 16 by 9 panel now the image on the left uh, shows you um, well, what the 16 by 9 experience is like on that screen and when you compare it to a 21 by 9, uh, you it's pretty obvious that you get to see additional details. So, provided the game supports it or um, you can find a fix from widescreen gaming forum, the additional detail can really help with the immersion aspect. Now for games that support, uh, especially for games that support moving the UI panels within the game itself, uh, you can get a much, much better experience. Anyway, to summarize, it's been a great so well a great time or experience so far using this panel. Um, the additional real estate is a great thing, and it really isn't difficult to push games to max settings or close to max settings with a 980 Ti. And yeah, and with that, I never dip, still never still dip below 50 frames. Um, I'm sure. It, well, of course, it would have been nice to have a 1440 high refresh rate ultra wide powered by a you know. Oh yeah, a Titan Pascal, but uh, <laughs> that can wait. So, uh, gameplay footage time. And, uh, well, I mean, aside from the one I've been playing in the background. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video for the LG34 UM58 Ultrawide. And uh, let me know in the comment section below what kind of panel you prefer if you had to choose uh, only some specific uh, features. So, thanks for watching this, and I'll talk to you soon.
neutralized. Continue pushing the remaining rebels. Roger that. 